Hi, I'm Angela, and this video is what to say after an argument. I'm going to share some of the nonviolent communication strategies, but before I even go there, I want to <laughs> be really clear that after an argument, there's a lot that's going on. You may be in shock because you've expressed anger and something's vibrating in you. I'm a very emotionally and physically charged person. So after anger, I actually feel like I'm not even myself. I feel different. So it might not be the best time to practice the nonviolent strategies. You might need to go to a different room. You might need to breathe. You might need to take yourself out of the house. You might need to just do something that breaks the energy, like humor can work for some people, ordering a pizza, whatever, something out of the box. It may not be the best time to talk. And they're my caveats for the next pieces I'm sharing on nonviolent communication as developed by Marshall Rosenberg. And it's taught in many different schools and they actually teach you how to do it through a lot of repetition. So it works best when it's done through practice. And I use the strategies as a general guide and I first tell myself what do I need when I'm angry. It's usually just some breathing and I also need nurturing so I know that that's my go-to responses. So that's a good thing too to just ask what your body, what, what do you need after you're angry. Um, you know, some people need a drink. <laughs> so when you are ready to communicate, the steps in nonviolent communication are pretty simple principles and they work in four steps and the first step is actually the hardest because you've got to strip away the emotion and, and, and specify the behavior or the action that's causing the anger. So the action that's causing the anger can be a specific incident like someone slamming a door but even slamming can be very emotional. So when uh, you close the door is a simpler version and then the second step would be to say I feel so when you close the door I feel surprised frightened and then the third step is to express what you have a need for so nonviolent communication is based on every human is exactly the same whether you're a multimillionaire or someone on the street we've all got the same needs emotionally and as humans so the third step is to express your need so when you stamp the door I feel shocked or surprised and a little scared and I need I have a need for peace or whatever your need is can you close the door with more quietly, quietness or gentleness or more awareness. So the fourth step, which I just verbalized, can you close the door with more quietness or more awareness, is asking for a different behavior from the person. Can you, with a request, rather than why don't you close the door with more quietness? And Interestingly, I've noticed this door slamming situation or noise as I'm more sensitive uh, with my meditation practice, I've become more aware uh, on a sound level as well. I can't handle loud music. It's old age as well. But I can't handle things that before I used to tolerate really well. So this actual four-step process works really well before the anger gets to a boiling point and works to short circuit things that if you notice repetitive behaviors uh, you can actually say look when this happens I feel I have a need for can you do this differently and this process of thinking that way is a lot connected to what I share about anger. Anger is actually a teaching moment of what you are really, really needing. Not just in your relationship, but in your life. The relationship is there to serve you to get what you need in your life. So anytime you have anger, it's a gift. 
And I know it's powerful, it's scary and it's awakening and it can be jarring for some of you and for me it has been. So I'm very aware that when you're angry as well, you have certain needs just physically, just to acknowledge that maybe you need to feel safe, maybe you need to go for a walk, maybe you need to just sit, maybe you need quiet, maybe you need to be with someone, maybe you need to talk. <laughs> so when you are recovering from an argument, do that first. Ask, what, ask your body, ask yourself, what do you need at that moment so you can handle recovering from the anger.